Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x and y in this nice algebra equation involving square root from here? Let's represent root x with a letter. So let m be equals to root x and uh, m be equals to root y. Then from what we have here in equation 1, this the first equation here, this will then become m plus m equals to 20. Then let's label this as equation 1 from here. Then also in the second equation given here, we have root xy. Now root xy is something as root x times root y. So here that means root x times root y equals to 20 and it implies that m times m is equals to 20. Let this be equation 2 from here. Then on the first equation here we have m equals to 20 minus m. And then when we substitute that into the second equation here so equation 2 here then can be written as m multiplied by here that's 20 minus m now replacing m here and equals to 20 then here we expand and this gives us 20m minus m square equals to 20 then Let's bring everything to one side and rearrange. So taking minus m square here becomes m square. Then 20m comes here become minus 20m. Then we have plus 20. Now equals to 0 from here. Then we have a quadratic equation that we can solve using the formula m equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and in this case in this case a equals to 1 b is equals to minus 20 and c equals to 20 and what we have here is now equal implies m equals to minus minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 square then minus 4 times 1 times 20 then all over 2 times 1 from here then which implies m equals to 20 plus or minus square root of 20 square 20 times 20 here we have 400 then minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 80 here then all over 2 then m equals to 20 plus or minus here 100 minus 80 we have 320 then over 2 and here we have m equals to 20 plus or minus 320 here can be written as 64 times 5 then over 2 and here we can separate this as root 24 i mean root 64 times root 5 that is here we have m equals to 20 plus or minus root 64 there we have 8 then times root 5 over 2 and when we break this into 2 we have m now equals to 20 over 2 then plus or minus 8 root 5 over 2 which implies that here we have m equals to 10 plus or minus 4 root 5 then we have m here we can get the value of m using the relation we have from n equals to 
simply minus n it implies that we have n now equals to 20 minus into bracket 10 plus or minus 4 root 5 then from here we have n equals to 20 minus 10 and this minus open this that gives us minus plus 4 root 5 and here we have n equals to 10 minus plus root 5 so we have n here and we also have m here so and that's not what we are finding per se so we need to find the value of x and y n recall that we represented n as root x and from here this implies that root x is now equals to 10 plus or minus 4 root 5 then from here we can take the square on both sides so the square on this side and also the square on this side square can be square root here we have x now equals to here we have the expansion here follows from when we have a plus or minus b all square and from here this will give us a square then plus or minus 2ab then plus b square so when we apply that here here we are going to have 10 square then plus or minus 2 times 10 times 4 root 5 then plus here we have 4 root 5 or square then from here x will then be equals to 10 square here as 100 10 times 10 then plus or minus here we have 2 times 10 20 then times 4 we have 80 here that's 80 root 5 then plus here we square 4 4 square that's 16 then root 5 square that's 5 and here we have x equals to 100 plus or minus 80 root 5 then plus 16 times 5 here we have 80 then it implies that here we have x equals to 100 plus 80 that's 180 plus or minus 80 root 5 so we have two values of x here and also solving on this side as well we represented n as root 1 then this implies that root 1 is now equals to 10 minus or plus 4 root 5 then same way we square both sides here then square this side square cancel square root then we have here y is now equals to the expansion here as well will be 10 square minus or plus 2 times 10 times 4 root 5 then we have plus 4 root 5 or square that is from here this gives us y equals to 10 squared as 100 then minus plus here also we have 80 root 5 then plus 16 times 5 here also 80 and y now equals to 100 plus 80 that's 180 then minus or plus 80 root 5 and also from here we have two values of y then we can then conclude here that the solution here we have x1 comma y1 here this will give us the first 
value of x here which is 180 plus 80 root 5 then comma the first value of y here we have 180 minus 80 root 5 then we close bracket then the second set of solutions which we have which is x2 comma y2 this here is same as the second value of x here we have 180 minus 80 root 5 then comma here we have y y2 x2 comma y2 y2 here we have 180 plus 80 root 5 so we have these two set of solutions to this given problem and when we look at it x1 here same thing as y2 here and y1 here same thing as x2 here thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now